Well, this whole issue of migration combined with uh, the terrorist threat is a huge crisis uh, which is difficult for all of us to deal with. Uh, it is an existential issue, frankly, for the future of a borderless European Union. So there's two angles to it, really. One is the, the very large number of migrants fleeing uh, countries where their life is no longer safe. A lot of them from Syria, but not only from Syria. We have migrants and refugees arriving from Afghanistan and Eritrea and Somalia, as well as from Syria and Iraq. So there are very large numbers of people coming into Europe which are putting a real uh, pressure on the ability of those countries to absorb such very large numbers, as we have seen over the last few months. And then separately, you've got the problem that you have got terrorists who have in many cases been uh, born and brought up in European countries and gone to the region, coming back radicalized as foreign fighters and determined to come back across the border. So we have both to manage a very large humanitarian migration issue and we have to ensure uh, that we can keep tabs on people who have got uh, ill intent, uh, terrorist plans coming across our borders with too much facility. So the, the two fit together. What does that mean for the future of Schengen and so on? Well, the European Union is looking at that very carefully. We've already seen that a number of member states are having to put up their own national frontiers. They are tightening controls where there were none before. In many cases, the border posts were there, but they were largely you know, ineffective and not necessary. Now they are. For us, we're outside Schengen, as you say, and we're also protected by 25 miles of sea, which makes it a little bit easier for the United Kingdom to, if you like, m manage its own, its own borders. Though so we have a lot of help from our French friends because we have something called juxtaposed border controls in northern France. But I think it means that Europe both has to address the future of Schengen, which may mean that some changes need to be made, but that's up to the, the member states concerned to decide. But also those of us who are outside Schengen we will be even more anxious to ensure that our national border controls are effective so that we pick these people up at the border before they've had a chance to, to do harm.